Alright guys, welcome to another Flights and Fan video. We're here in the AVA B Harrier by Razbam on the deck of the Tarawa. Tarawa. And uh, today I thought I'd make a little video because I got a lot of questions on it on how to slew the TGP, how to slew the DMT, and how to slew the Maverick camera. So we'll quickly load up with the TGP and Mavericks. I'm just going to bring uh, two Ds on the wing. I'll bring a gun plug just to balance it out. And uh, hit OK. Let's change our livery. I don't know this one we want. It's random. Request rearming. Copy. So get armed with that. While they're loading us, just want to let you know that the only switches you're going to need for this, unless I think of it any more on later, is the DMS, or the, not the DMS, the TDC. Getting confused. Uh, basically, you need all the TDC switches, every single one. You're going to need all of your sensor select switches. So right, left, forward, down, and aft, all of those as well. And you can map it to whatever you like. Uh, these are not default, by the way. I made those. I made those that uh, one, three, one through five. But you can make whatever you like. You're just gonna need sensor select and TDC. So I'll hit cancel. We're rearmed. So we're ready to go put our nozzle, we'll have it in 10 right now, so we'll keep them there, flaps can go to stall. Full power brakes on. And release brakes. And we're gonna do nozzle of 55. So 59 works too. Gear can come up. Flaps go to auto. And so we're going to use the DMT first. We'll get the Mavericks warmed up. We're going to be aiming for those orange smokes. So the DMT is pretty nice and easy to use. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to your right screen here. I forget what they're called, MCDs or something like that. Uh, hit DMT. You get popped up with this camera. Now you're going to make sure that it says TV here. So the way to do that is hit your sensor select switch aft, not down, aft. So you do that one more time, then it's in TV mode. There you go, TV. I'm going to unhighlight that code. That's to change your laser code, by the way. So you hit code uh, 1688, you hit enter, and that's how it's done like that. And that'll change the DMT plus the GBU-12s or GBU-16s, whatever you're bringing. So I'm going to nose on down here. And we see land in the camera, obviously, now. I'm going to first hit my TDC no action, and that'll speed up the slew rate of the camera, and then use my TDC aft, down, left, and right to actually move it. You can see it moving on the HUD there. That's it moving. You can see it moving there. So I'll put it over the orange smoke. And now you'll see orange smoke right there. So that's the DMT. It's actually very easy. And that line, that crosshair line in the uh, square is actually pretty important. If you have that open, and you open up your Mavericks, your Mavericks will automatically salute at that point now, which is pretty nice and cool. To get rid of that, you just hit your nose or steering button, it'll reset back to your velocity vector right there. So you can always do it like that. And that's the fast zoom. This is what happens if you didn't do the step of hitting the TDC no action. I'll do that. This is how slow it moves without that. So hit TDC no action and it'll speed it up, it's a lot faster, a lot better. Nose or steering button to reset. Oh, that button you need actually as well, nose or steering button. I knew I was gonna add something to the list of buttons. Nose or steering, all TDC, and uh, all sensor select. So that's DMT, it's actually very simple. So all you gotta do is make sure it has TV at the top left, so you're controlling the TV, which is the DMT. Um, and see how it goes, see if I move the TDC. I'm gonna try to slew it, but I'm not looking at the ground. Look, see how it glitches out, and then it makes a point on the map. That's what I don't want to happen, so I, I reset it with nose no steering. I make sure the velocity vector can see something ground-worthy, so like anything, and then if I start slewing, it's actually just complete normal. I don't know why it does that, but if you're looking in the air and you start to slew, it'll just make a, uh, a point on the map. So that's the DMT. Next, we will go to T-Pod, so that's on the right T-Pod here. This is also very easy, this is a targeting pod, so what we're gonna do is hit standby. There it is, it's all up and ready to go. 
Again, nose with steering button to recenter the TGP. What we're gonna make sure, let's put the CCD up here, let's hit that, make it a flare pod. So what we wanna make sure here, if we have slave gone, so what we're gonna do is hit AR, slave's gone. And we're also gonna have, you can see a plane out there. Uh, what we're also gonna do is hit TDC, so now we can slew it with our TDC. So let me turn back around, I'll head back to the smoke. And 1111, that's our laser code there, by the way. And I'll show you that to change, I'll show you how to change that later as well if you want to, but actually I kind of already did. So we'll roll out here in the smoke. Same thing, TDC no action will make it go faster. So this is, I already sped up, I believe. And now, as you can see, the HUD actually doesn't correlate. See how the box is down there moving it? And then when I let go of my TDC, it'll reset up there. I don't know why it does that, but anyways, that's the smoke. You get, to, so it's the same thing, TDC to zoom around. You have your uh, gain, you have your zoom, and then you also have uh, wide and narrow, I believe it stands for. But you got basically extra zoom. And that's the targeting pod. That's how you can slew that, if you were wondering. Uh, now, later, not in this current build, but I believe we're gonna be getting, you're gonna be able to laze from this. Uh, the way to do that is hit safe, and then I'm probably gonna go to the laser mode here, L-A-S-R, that's, that's what I think. It'll probably be a nose or steering button. You're gonna have to hit something like that. That's how you slew the TGP, so just make sure you don't have slave down here and you have TDC uh, check mark, and you can slave with your TDC. Uh, the last thing is going to be the Mavericks. So to activate the Maverick camera, one thing you have to make sure is you already clicked Mavericks, the IRMV, Master Arm Beyond, doesn't really matter. You have to make sure it says ready down here. If it doesn't say ready, they're not warmed up yet. So you have to make sure they're ready, and you're going to need this button. It's going to be uncage cage and uncage you're gonna need that so I'm gonna uncage the Maverick I have a button for it but it's l it's window left windows home I believe by default so uncage there's the camera and the camera is inside the velocity User vector little circle there so we're gonna turn around and we'll get one of those smokes now the Maverick camera moves actually by itself really quickly and I believe I don't think there's any zoom on it unfortunately User left your channel. So the only thing that can be zoomed is the TGP. Well, that's fine. So you can just either put the velocity vector right on the smoke or you can slew it over. So there it is in the Maverick camera. And let's say I want to move it over. I'm, what I'm going to do is make sure I have IRMV up here. So sensor select forward. There it is. Now I can move with my TDC. And I'll move around that giant box. That's how that works. And I'll move around the camera wherever I want. So all you have to do is make sure you have IRMV up here. That's basically the screen you have selected. So if I have TV in here, that'll let me use the uh, the uh, DMT, the built-in camera. If I have IRMV, it'll let me use the Maverick camera. Just like the other cameras, nose or steering button to reset. And it'll come back to your velocity vector wherever you're looking so that's how that works so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you understand how to slew these a bit better uh there could be quite complicated at first and a little bit weird because there's a lot of buttons you need but the ones you really need are tdc all of them sensor select all of them uh uncage for the mavericks cage and uncage and you need your nose or steering button to reset them so i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching